Now you might have thought that the free upgrade to Windows 10 from Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 ended on the 29th of July 2016. If you're a user with a computer made by one of the top manufacturers such as HP, Acer, Dell, Lenovo, Toshiba, IBM, Fujitsu or any other large manufacturers then you might still be in luck and might still be entitled to the free download. Now there's no way to tell this until you actually try it. So this guide shows you how to download the tool to update to Windows 10 and how to do it and to see if it's been successfully activated. If it has been successfully activated, then you should have Windows 10 legitimately for the life of the machine, as the license is tied to the machine. Now, I should stress, updating your machine or upgrading your machine to Windows 10 can be risky, so please make sure you've got a backup copy of any important files, pictures, music, videos, or data on your machine, and make sure you've got reinstallation disks for all of your software and hardware, or access to download sites to reinstall your software and hardware should this fail. So, once you've done all that, how do you download the download tool? Well, first of all, you need to open up Internet Explorer or your browser. Click into the address bar at the top, that's a left click, and we want to type in there www.microsoft.com forward slash en minus us forward slash software minus download forward slash windows 10. No spaces, all in lowercase, just as it's shown on the screen here. So www.microsoft.com forward slash en minus us forward slash software minus download forward slash Windows 10. Then press enter or return on your keyboard. So when this page appears, move your mouse over download tool now and left click once. It should say at the bottom of the screen, do you want to run or save Media Creation Tool 1803? This might change the number at the end of Media Creation Tool over time from software-download.microsoft.com. As long as it says software-download.microsoft.com, then that's okay. Then we left click run. Okay, it says, do you want to allow the following program to make changes to this computer? Program name, Microsoft Windows, Verify Publisher, Microsoft Corporation, and the file origin is downloaded from the internet. Make sure this matches before clicking yes, and that's a left click on yes. Okay, it now says, get in a few things ready. This might take a little while. You'll get this applicable notices and license terms come up. Have a read through if you want and then move your mouse down to accept and left click accept. It then says getting a few things ready again. And then this screen comes up, what do you want to do? So we really want to select upgrade this PC now. Then we move our mouse over next and left click again. It then starts to download Windows 10. Now this may take an exceptional amount of time because the download is quite a large download. So please be patient, just let it run. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this video and we'll come back to it when uh, it gets to the next part of the installation. So as you can see, it's coming to the end of the download progress. Uh, it's still got to do some installing, so we're nowhere near the end at the moment. So it's now saying verifying your download. Again, this might take a little while while it verifies. So I'm gonna pause this video again and we'll come back to it. So it now says creating Windows 10 media. Again, I'm gonna pause this video because it's gonna take some time and we'll come back to it. It's now uh, preparing to install Windows and uh, it's checking for updates. Again, this part may take some time. Now it says it's checking your PC to make sure that it's um, ready for the upgrade. And it says we're getting a few things ready. And once again, we've got this applicable notices and license terms. Now, if you want, you can read through this and then move your mouse over accept and left click once on accept. And again, it's now getting updates. This bit might take a little while, so uh, just bear with it. So it should now say ready to install. It might have said about any incompatibilities if there is anything incompatible with uh, 
your copy of Windows and tells you what to address, but uh, if it doesn't, it'll say ready to install, and uh, all we've got to do is then move our mouse over install and left click once. And that's it, it's installing Windows 10. This might take a little while, your PC might restart several times, just leave it. It might look as though it's frozen at times, but don't try and reboot your PC because you'll end up causing more problems. In some cases, I've known this installation to take in excess of 24 hours, but normally it should take around about one to two hours. So uh, what I'll do is I'll pause this video and we'll come back to it once Windows 10 has installed. So then we get to this part of the installation of Windows 10, choose privacy settings for your device. Now it's up to you whether you turn these on or off, it really doesn't matter. Um, if you want to read through them, then read through them and leave them on. If you want to turn them all off, then turn them all off. But uh, once you've decided what you're going to do, move your mouse down to accept and left click once on accept. Okay, so here we go, Windows 10 has now um, been installed, it's now upgraded from Windows 7 to Windows 10. Uh, let's just close this window down here by clicking on the cross just here and let's just check if it's activated. Now to do this I left click on the start button. When the start menu appears I just type activate. Okay and uh, it says here under settings see if Windows is activated so I left click that once here and there we go, it says Windows is activated with a digital license. So that means that it's fully activated and upgraded from Windows 7, Windows 8 or Windows 8.1. Like I say, this seems to work on large manufactured machines such as Asus or if you're American, Asus, Zoo Store, Dell, Lenovo, Toshiba, um, HP, Acer. Um, any of the big name brands, uh, this seems to activate. You can always try it on a OEM machine, a machine that you've either made yourself or bought from a shop and bought a copy of Windows 7, Windows 8 or Windows 8.1. Uh, to be quite honest with you, I don't know if it will activate. Give it a try. Post in the comments below, uh, let us know how you get on with this. But uh, like I say, that's your way of still able, being able to take advantage of the free upgrade from Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 to Windows 10, which as of September 2018 still seems to work and still seems to activate. So uh, hope this helps. Thanks for watching.